Hey guys, my scientist here, back with another video that I'm going to be showing you a FDK featuring some of the new cards from Toon Chaos, uh, most importantly Chaos Space and the Chaos Creator. So I'll just get right into it. So for this combo, you'll need Chaos Space and Thunder Dragon Roar. Um, so you basically start with Chaos Space, discarding the Roar. And then um, Chaos Space will add White Dragon uh, Wipe Reverse from like the hand and then you uh, summon a Banishing Roar from the deck and then Roar summons Dragon Dark from the deck. And then we're going to be doing some um, some of the usual stuff. You just make Striker Dragon. You add um, you add the Black Dragon Collapse Serpent and the Boot Sector Lunge from the hand. You summon the Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. And this time, a really cool interaction with this uh, Chaos Space card is that you get to put back the Baby Dragon um, that you banish for the uh, Collapse Serpent to the bottom of the deck. And you get the draw a card. And then that means when you link off the Collapse Serpent, it'll be able to add from deck to hand, which is so incredibly strong. The extra card really does go a while, like a mile. Uh, this Batterman Soul is just meant to be uh, representing the random draw we're getting. So next we go into Romulus with the uh, Black Dragon and the Striker Dragon. Um, Black Dragon will add White Dragon. And then Romulus adds Ravine. You go Ravine pitching the White Dragon, just uh, sending Absoluter to add a Tracer from deck to hand. Then we use Boost to launch, summoning Tracer from hand. And then we're going to be linking off uh, the Tracer and the Romulus into Needle Fiber. And you'll all kind of see like what's gonna happen. Um, we turn, uh, we go Needle Fiber into Red Rose Dragon, and then cross sums the two tokens. We make Garden Rose Maiden. Um, Garden Rose Maiden adds um, the Black Garden from to hand, and then also the White Dragon is summoned from our deck with Red Rose Dragon's effect. Then we're gonna be linking off into LP and then into Protector Whelp. Uh, Protector Whelp um, gives us the arrows necessary to use LP's effects. So we do that using Rotar's effect targeting your Thunder Dragon Dark to add the Chaos Creator from deck to hand. So if you don't know what this does, um, new card from Doom Chaos, you banish Lion Dark from your graveyard to special summon it, and then if you control this card as special summon from hand, you can target three banished monsters with different names, special summon one of them and place the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. This means you can get to put back your extract monsters too, which is quite, quite cool. Um, just means you can, you can do some crazy stuff. But anyway, um, it's, it's not the most relevant effect, but it's it's nice. Next, um, we're going to be activating the Black Garden, because we're going to be giving our opponent tokens, and we're going to banish all three of our dragons to summon the traditional Dragon of Icy Imprisonment. This is another reason why this Protector Whelp card is so good, um, just because it's a, it's a generic dragon, so we get to just make the traditional fusion for free, essentially. Now, we get to use the uh, traditional's effect, so we banish the top card of our opponent's deck and a card from their extra deck, but more importantly, we get to banish a card from our deck, or... Um, yeah, you can banish any card from your deck, actually. It doesn't have to be a monster, but... Um, this has really nice synergy with the Chaos Creator, just because um, Chaos Creator summons any of your banished monsters, and Trisha gets you to any... lets you banish any monster from your deck, so... It, you, you see the connection, right? You just get to tutor out any monster from your deck, essentially, which is really, really strong. Um, and now we're going to be giving our opponent Black Garden tokens. And I forgot to banish Light and Dark here for uh, Chaos Creator. I just do that now, I think. Um, we use Garden Rose Maiden to bring back the White Rose Dragon. And yeah, there's Light and Dark banished. Anyway, now we bring back our Earth Man Immortal, uh, Um This is what we um, are choosing to FTK with today. So if you don't know what this card does, it's when this card face up, uh, when this face up card leaves the field, except by its own effect, you uh, destroy as many face up monsters your opponent controls as possible. And if you do, you inflict 800 damage to your opponent for each uh, monster destroyed. So as you can see with Black Garden, um, it has a lot of synergy here. And also, cool thing is that so, uh, it, it, it can be special summoned, um, and we do have a uh, field spell, so it doesn't immediately die, which is really nice, um, which you'll see later, because, um, uh, and I moved the Trishla here because um, we need to. Anyway, so we send our dragon, our wing beast, and our thunder to make curious to the light throne dominion. Uh, Dark adds hawk from deck to hand, we get to send malicious from deck to grave, um, and then all the five tokens I just imagine on your screen, the tokens are all dead. Um, and now we summon one token with, um, so we send Malicious from Deck to Grave with uh, Curious and we get to add Hawk from Deck to Hand. And then our Asylla Pichu will uh, destroy all five tokens. I know there's only four tokens here, but um, the the Asylla Pichu would be Chainlink 1, and then we put the Black Garden as Chainlink 2, since they're both are mandatory, we get to choose the order. So we get to summon the fifth token before they all get destroyed by Asylla Pichu's effect, so our opponent is on currently 4,000 life points. Next, our opponent gets one token from the Dragon Wars of uh, Summon, then they get another token from the Malicious Summon, then they get a uh, third token from the Proxy Dragon, and then they get a fourth token from our Insector Exa Beetle. Um, this, this is kind of why we need the uh, level sixes for this combo, because um, on summon, uh, Exa Beetle equips any monster from your graveyard, 
to itself. So it'll equip our Estella Pichu, and then we just turn all of our monsters into a Link monster. Um, and then Kapow! Our opponent is dead. 8,000 damage straight to the face. Just with the uh, Chaos Space card with Fun Dragon War. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, um, and subscribe, I suppose. Is that what you YouTubers say? I'm not sure. Um, if you don't know already, um, I have a community Discord where I have basically announcements going on whenever I go live on stream, or uh, when a new video goes up live, or whenever I'm doing anything with the Discord. Also, you might have heard me say stream. What do you mean stream? Well, uh, as if I haven't already advertised it enough, I do stream on Twitch. Uh, make sure to stop by. You can follow. It's literally free. Um, I think I'm going to be streaming the day this video comes out. So that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, hope you, hopefully, I'll see you guys there. I'm going to be testing a lot of decks from uh, Toon Chaos. Might even try Toons. But I'll, I'll, I'll probably be putting uh, most of my energy into some kind of Chaos deck. Maybe featuring the Thunder Dragon cards. Anyway, guys. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.